participants. This is Honorable Senator Vin Gopal. He's a state senator for New Jersey from the 11th Legislative District, and he serves as the Senator Majority Conference Leader and Vice Chair of the Senate Higher Education Committee. Uh, senator, thank you for joining us today. We're honored to have you. Thank you guys so much. I hope you've had a, a good and productive day and to the organizers, uh, everyone at uh, Influencer and and uh, everyone who's who's worked today, not just the participants, but the, the organizers today. Thank you. Um, as chair of the New Jersey Senate Education Committee, we had a, a hearing a, a few weeks ago on mental health in our K-12 school systems. Unfortunately, now mental health is a, at an all-time high um, with depression and anxiety, um, substance abuse for those who are older. Uh, so we are doing a lot in New Jersey right now to tackle a lot of that, including uh, increasing the number of social workers, therapists, and guidance counselors throughout our 600 plus school districts. Um, as a really, uh, as we see an increase, even a child during COVID who might have missed a prom or graduation or something their sibling may have had that they may have not had, we see a, a big increase in, in, in mental health. So uh, as, as a, a state senator and also uh, coming from a um, you know, first generation, my parents are from, from Southern India uh, and I used, to, I used to go back every year um, uh, to Kerala where my grandparents lived until they passed a few years ago. Um, and they would always teach me uh, the important values of taking care of your mental health and your well-being. Um, and it's something that I know that you guys are all going through today and um, and each and every day. And I know that was a big part of today. So it's great to, to say hello to everyone. Congratulations to the, the winners today. And, and I know you had a, a contest and a lot of else through the Academy today. So uh, honored to spend a couple of minutes with you. If anyone ever needs anything, you can always follow me on Twitter at, at VinGopal. Um, and uh, good, to, good to say hello for a few minutes. Thank you very much for joining us. Your words were very much appreciated. Yeah, thank you very much for joining us. All right, and with that, let's begin the final award ceremony. Let's begin with the writing uh, for writing elementary. Uh, our winner is Mara Sharma. She wrote a wonderful piece on uh, what she's grateful for and what she values most. Mara, congratulations. Okay. Yes, thank you. Very nice job. Uh, now moving on to our middle school writing winners. The middle schoolers, uh, their topic was, does media, does the media's portrayal of mental health undermine our ability to deal with mental health? And uh, it was a tough topic, but we had some very nice pieces and it was a tough decision. Uh, but in third place is Ryan Sharma. In second place is Hamsini Metu. And in first place, the winner of our middle school writing challenge is Harshini Aso Kumar. Congratulations. They are on the meeting right now. You can be spotlighted. If you need to be spotlighted, you need to turn on your video. So Hamsini and Ryan, if you turn on your video, then we will be able to spotlight you. So congratulations. Congratulations, guys. All right, let's move on to our high school writing challenge. Um, Sanjana, who are the judge for this? The high school writing challenge topic was, do therapists provide value in treating mental health issues? Another challenging topic, uh, but we once again read some amazing pieces uh, and it was a tough decision, but here are our top three. Uh, in third place for high school writing challenge is, or Jasaha. Congratulations. In second place is JMND. Nice and the winner 
of our high school writing challenge is Sahana Pillai. Congratulations, guys. Wonderful writing. Congratulations, uh, winners. And now moving on to our visual expression pieces. Um, they were just really exciting uh, pieces of art that we saw uh, and collages. Uh, so without further ado, let's get to our winners. In first place for visual expression middle school is Tanvi Marasetti. Very nice. Very cute. Um, Thank you. Our, top, our topic for middle school was nostalgia and uh, uh, the artists were tasked with uh, creating a piece that reminds them of their past and reminds them of what made them feel happy and less stressed out. So Tanvi, congratulations. Tanvi, you want you. to share a little bit about how it went in creating this artwork for you? Yeah. So uh, so I came up and I, I saw the topic and so I just looked at all my art supplies in my room and I just saw this canvas, this empty canvas which bothered me. And so I took it and I just put all these games and little things that just made me super happy when I was younger. Very good, very creative. Enough. All right. In second place, we have Kunjo Ja. And in third place, for our visual expression middle school, Lindsay King. Congratulations. Congratulations. Lindsay, do you want to talk about your piece a bit? I just drew memories of when I was younger and incorporated music into it too. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Thank you very yeah. much. Congratulations. Very nice. All right. And now for our visual expression high school, uh, the topic was self perception. Um, I'm very excited to share these pieces. Uh, in first place, we have Mega Gambervala. Congratulations. Uh, in second place for Visual Expression High School, we have Dia Nambir. Congratulations. Thank you. Dia, do you want to talk about your piece and how you created it? Uh, yeah, so basically with this piece, I just kind of wanted to show that um, as individuals, we kind of put a mask on every day and sometimes we just don't want to express ourselves. So we take either a happy mask or a sad mask, whatever it may be. And that's what I wanted to convey with this picture. Beautiful. Incredible artwork. Thank you. Uh, and in third place for our visual expression high school challenge is Ayushi Khan. Ayushi, you want to talk about your piece and how you made it? represents like um, the blurred vision we have of ourselves and sometimes it's hard to like see who we really are unless we like kind of like look look ourselves in the mirror like look at our face ourselves and kind of see what emotions and like what thoughts we have. Very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, beautiful. Very nice. Congratulations. Congratulations. All right. And now for our public speaking <coughs> finalists or winners, um, we will begin with elementary school and our topic was friendship. Uh, and our first place winner is Mayor Sharma. Congratulations. Mayor gave a adorable speech about what she values in friends uh, and how they impact her lives. It was a beautiful speech. Uh, and just wonderful to hear. Mayor, congratulations. Thank you. Mayor, uh, how are you feeling right now? You bagged two prices. How do you feel? Tell me. Good. <laughs> Good? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> congratulations. Congratulations, Mayor. Mayor. All right. And now moving on to our public speaking middle school. 
winners, uh, the topic, or public speaking high school winners, apologies. Uh, the topic was wealth achievement gaps, and I'm sure uh, all of you guys heard some wonderful speeches, uh, but we had to narrow it down to our top three, which are in third place. Or second place, Orja Saha. In first place, Sahana Kalai. And in third place, Yami Shah. Congratulations, guys. wonderful speeches on wealth achievement, uh, wealth, the wealth achievement gaps and how it impacts America. You guys brought in a multitude of points and it was exciting to hear. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, and now moving on to our middle school winners uh, for public speaking. Uh, the topic was online learning and whether it has effectively replaced traditional in-person learning. Uh, so in third place, Guy Trigamini. Congratulations. Uh, in second place, Steven Tunison. Congratulations. And in first place, the winner of our public speaking middle school challenge is Arshini Yasu Kumar. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. That's wonderful. All right. And with that, that concludes our 2022, our third annual edition of Sway. We want to thank each and every one of you uh, for participating this year. We heard some wonderful, we heard some wonderful speeches. We read some wonderful essays. Um, and it was just a pleasure to have each and every one of the participants here. Um, I want to give a moment to recognize Dr. Makija and his efforts with Sway. We want to thank, thank you for partnering with us. And we, we are blessed to have worked with Sumhin this year and spread awareness about mental health. Dr. Makija. I would like to bring in the core team first, uh, the pillar of support. Uh, they have been working so hard, Dr. Makija, and all the other parents and contestants. Uh, they have been working for several months and they deserve tremendous amount of recognition from each and every one of you. And uh, here we are just bringing the team in. And Dr. Makija, your words, please. I tell you, I mean, this participating in this, I mean, I've participated in Inspire Academy over the years, several times, and as judge, or judge also. But I tell you, today, it was truly humbling to watch some of the creations by the students and the, the, the speeches, uh, you know, I congratulate to all the finalists and winners and actually all participants. It takes a lot of courage to do this. You know, I, I really, uh, you know, admire. And of course, I mean, uh, the, the, the team has really worked hard. I mean, it, it shows, I mean, everything is going so flawlessly and uh, without such great hard work, this would not be possible. And I want to thank you for, uh, you know, uh, including Summon in this, it's really an honor, you know. And I want to remind uh, people about the mental health uh, support group we started for the youth, the young people, 16 to 25. And check out, uh, you know, go on the website, visit it, check out the group. If anybody you know uh, needs some guidance, they can participate or even talk to one of the facilitators privately uh, in confidence. You know. So good luck to all of you and thanks again uh, for uh, uh, partnering with Summit. Thank you very much, Dr. Makija. And with that, that concludes our 2022, our third edition of Sway. We hope to see everyone back next year. Thank you for competing. Yes, next year we do have it. So big round of applause to all the participants. Everyone is a winner here, whether you bagged a trophy or not, but you made a great addition to enriching mental health in our community. So you really did a great job on that. Uh, congratulations. And thank you, team. Thank you, parents, for the excellent support. We are looking forward to meeting you again at Sway 2023. See you soon.